Well, welcome to this midweek devotion at the beginning of May. My name is Matthew. I'm the Associate Minister at St. Peter's. While we're getting used to the words unprecedented, uncertain, strange, applied to the current situation that we face in this country and in the world. We might be unsure about even what day of the week it is, the markers of a weekend, of Friday nights, of regular sporting fixtures no longer shape our time. Perhaps like us, you've had to cancel travel plans, meeting others for birthday celebrations. In the last couple of weeks, my grandma has turned 90 and my niece excitedly reached the milestone of three. And these occasions were marked by rather chaotic family Zoom calls. I've also been feeling nostalgic after getting a new battery for and wearing the watch I had for my 18th birthday that I don't think I've worn for about 10 years. In the light of these times, a phrase from the Old Testament book Ecclesiastes has been going round my head from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. The writer describes the turning of the seasons and depending on your age you might remember the birds or Mary Hopkin singing turn, turn, turn in the 60s. And then in verse 11 of chapter 3 of Ecclesiastes we read these words. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Perhaps you have been more aware of the beauty of nature on your daily walk or birdsong highlighted by the lower traffic noise. We can appreciate the goodness of God and the beauty around us, but the verse pushes us forwards to look beyond what we can see. He has also said eternity in the human heart. Perhaps at the moment we're fixated on the immediate, just getting to the end of the day or reaching the end of lockdown. Does it feel like a line has been crossed through everything in your diary? Has this pandemic created major uncertainty for what you thought you'd be doing next month, next year, or even into the future in retirement? We as humans are made for more. Our plans, our dreams for what we do for work or enjoyment are significant, but they are not ultimately where we are called to direct our gaze. There is a desire, isn't there, to understand everything. But the writer of Ecclesiastes admits, and we have to admit, we can't. The wisdom of the whole book points us to a new way of viewing the world. We can either look at life under the sun, that is without God, or in the light of God's power and presence for us, seen ultimately in his son Jesus. We don't have all the answers but might we confidently say with David in Psalm 31, even in the midst of his trouble, my times are in your hands. God has placed in us a desire, a hope that there is more. With Jesus we know a way has been made for us to enjoy a new heaven, a new earth where there is no more sickness or pain, no coronavirus, no separation, no loneliness. Whatever you are doing today, might you know in your heart and your head that as you trust in Christ, who is our life, you are promised more than we can ask or imagine. Let me pray for us. Lord Jesus, in the midst of uncertainty, in a changeable world, in a fast moving situation, speak to us with the unchanging hope of your kingdom and answer the longing of our hearts with glimpses and echoes of your glory, that we might be those whose eyes are fixed on you and who can confidently begin each day by saying, my times are in your hands. Direct my words, actions and thoughts to praise you and invite others to know you, your loving kindness and your promise of new life. Amen.